Osher joined Stiv and Valen to form a band of wildlings. They fled south and abandoned their service to their king, Mance Raider. The group cross the wall and travel into the Wolfswood north of Winterfell. They chance upon Bran and try to steal his horse. Rob Stark intervenes, killing Valen and disarming Osher, and Stiv is killed by Theon. Osher surrenders to Rob and he takes her to Winterfell. Osha is later put to work as a servant for House Stark. Theon interrupts Osha and is irritated when she refuses to call him, my lord, especially when she correctly points out that his father is still alive so he is not entitled to the honorific title yet. Maester Lewin appears and sends Theon away. Lewin asks Osha why she was south of the wall. She replies that there were things sleeping under the ice, which are not sleeping anymore. Lewin is skeptical of her claims. Osha goes to Winterfell's godswood to pray to the old gods of the forest, and finds Bran there. She tells him that north of the wall, the old gods are the only gods. She also says that Rob is leading his army in the wrong direction, and the true enemy lays to the north, beyond the wall, not the south. When Hodor passes by naked, Osha remarks he must have giant's blood in him, and tells Bran that giants, and worse, exist north of the wall, and that the long night is coming. After Bran dreams that he saw his father in the catacombs of Winterfell, Osha carries him there to check. Inside, Bran tells about the history of his family. They are surprised to find Rickon there, since he experienced the same dream as his elder brother. When they emerge from the tomb, Osha assures Bran that his father should be fine, but Lewin tells them he is dead.